schools major are somehow damaged. Uh, get no girls. Oh. That's for sure. <laughs> we're talking nerd, we're talking geek. So what is going on everyone? Jason here at Waddle, and for today, I'm going to be guessing some student majors here at Zoom University. I saw a couple videos on YouTube about this and I thought I'd give it a go. And yeah, I'm usually pretty bad at all of these trivia games, but hopefully this one turns better for me. So without further ado, let's get into some questions. I'm Nicholas Mercia, and I am a sophomore at Santa Monica College, and I am transferring to UCLA uh, in the fall of 2020. First question, how many hours do you study a day? Day is mostly like five to four hours in a day. Okay, that's still but, yeah, quite some I'm, time, yeah. Because I'm graduating in the summer, so I'm trying to like do a lot of studying so I could have my grades like perfect so that I don't have to worry about anything once I go to UCLA. Does your major require you to take more tests or write more essays? Write more essays, that's what I've been doing a lot. What do you think your average salary will be after graduating? 30000 a year or 40000 Because the major that I'm choosing, we don't get paid a lot because we like to help younger kids. What website do you usually use to get help on homework? Check studies help me out with my essays because they give like back really good feedback. Final question. Do you think your major is more male oriented or female oriented? Mostly female oriented because when, when I'm in the class, I'm pretty much the only male there. It, it's really rare where you would find another male in the class. So I was like, oh wow, didn't know that not that many people wanted to do this major that I'm doing. I would take a guess. I think you're an English major pursuing education. Yes, that is correct. Awesome. Okay. I'm a first year at UCLA. What do you think some stereotypes are for a major? A lot of people think that my major is really laid back and chill and that people who have my major don't really do a ton of work. Okay. All right. Which is <laughs> Not true at all, but that's the stereotype. Would you say there's more males or more females, or is it about even? Um, I would say it's about even. Maybe a little bit more heavy on the male dominant side, but it's nothing too drastically different. Um, third question. Do you think your major requires you to write more essays or take more tests? Take more tests. Take more tests. Then fourth question. What websites do you usually use to get help? for homework. Dude, what's a really popular one? There's this one, it's like at the tip of my tongue. It's really like everyone uses it. I'm guessing Shag, I think. Yes, yes, that's it. Yeah, okay. Of course, you know I'm Shag. <laughs> and then final question, somewhat random, but if you were to describe your major as a type of candy, what type of candy would it be? Wait, give me a second to think on this one. <laughs> yeah. I would say like a classic king size Hershey bar because that's kind of like the OG staple and it kind of like dominates the field and everyone looks towards it as like the boss of the candy world. Okay, so based on that, I think I can take a guess. Um, my guess is your business. So at UCLA, that's BusyCon. Yes. That's okay, <laughs> let's go. That's another one. Somehow we're pretty good at this. I don't know why. My name is Ethan Grublich, and I'm a freshman at Tufts University. How many hours do you study every week? I couldn't give a good estimate of that, honestly, but I always feel like there's a time crunch. Give me a stereotype of your majors. Uh, get no girls. Oh. That's for sure. <laughs> so would you say your major's more male-dominated or female-dominated? Certainly more male-dominated. What's your favorite website that you like to go to to get help on homework? So I, I don't think that this is one that I personally go to, but I definitely will because I'm taking this class next semester and it's called Symbolab, the website. Interesting, okay. I've heard about it, surprisingly. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I know what that is. Final question for me then, if you have to describe your major as a type of candy, what would it be? I'm trying to think of like a candy that maybe the teacher would have given out. Yes, nerds. Yeah. Nerds. Okay, my guess would be you're a math major. Yes, that is correct. Yeah? There you have it. I am a second semester sophomore at uh, University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign. What are some stereotypes of your major? That we're lazy, we don't do much. So do you think your major is more male-oriented or female-oriented? Or is it about even? I would say it's kind of even, but if it was to be uh, a certain side, I would say more male-oriented. Does your major require you to write more essays or take more tests? Or about the same? About the same. Yeah, pretty much even. Next question. What's your go-to website 
to get help on homework? Oof, that's tough. Um, Investopedia. That is, that is good. Okay. Yep. And final question. If you have to describe your major as a type of candy, what would it be? Skittles. Skittles. Should I say why? Yeah, sure. Um, because there's so many different type of flavors in the industry. From what I know, I'm probably going to guess. Oh, this is hard. There's two that stand out, but I don't know which one. So I'm just going to guess your major is economics. Yep, okay. that's right. Holy. Well, on a roll, my year, I'm a first year. I go to UCR. How many hours do you think you study a day? Like five, I guess. Second question. Do you think you take more tests for your major or do you write more essays? Tests, yeah. How much money do you think you'll be able to make after you graduate? I don't see myself making money like after graduating from college. So you plan to pursue like grad school or anything like that, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you think your major is more male oriented or female oriented? I think it's more male oriented. What's your favorite website to get help on for homework? To be honest, like, uh, I use Discord. Discord, okay. There's this like AP student server. Okay. Yeah, I know it's not like the typical answer you hear, but yeah. I think I can make a guess from that. Based on your answers, I'm gonna guess your pre-med. Specifically for major-wise, there's so many pre-med majors. I'll just pick one yeah, and true. say your. I'm guessing something along the lines of like cell developmental biology. <laughs> no. Nah. Oh, okay. So my major is biochemistry. Oh, okay. Yeah. Dang. Okay. Yeah. That was pretty close, my but name yeah. Is Rishi. I go to NYU and I'm currently a freshman. What are some stereotypes about your major? That's a really difficult question. Can I just Google it really fast? Yeah, sure. Okay, one stereotype is that. People with this major are somehow damaged. Damaged? Okay. Just emotionally damaged, that's it? <laughs> I, I think so. Sounds interesting. We'll go with that. So then would you say your major is more male-dominated or female-dominated? Or is it about even? I think maybe more female-dominated. Okay. If you have to get rid of one subject, what would it be? Physics. Physics, okay. If you were to graduate with your degree, how much money do you think you will be making after you graduate? I don't think a lot of money, even just an undergrad degree. I guess, final question, if you were to describe your major as a type of candy, what brand would it be and why? Oh, that is a good question. Um, I, you know those candies that you like suck on them and they change flavors? This yeah. one is like really hard, it's like like a sourish kind of candy. Warheads, I'm guessing? I would say that because I think there's a lot of layers to this major and you can learn different things about like various interesting topics out in the world so i think it's like as you learn more you're like uncovering new layers i think that's enough questions so i'm okay. probably gonna guess um my guess is that your biology that's pre-med that's not super far but not completely correct it's related to biology right psychology yeah that's right okay pretty good there you go, That's not bad. Well, that was awesome. Hi, I'm Soren. I'm a first year at UC Santa Cruz. What are some stereotypes of your majors? Introverted, like a gamer. I am definitely not the stereotype. How do you take notes in class? You know, through a computer, notebooks? Through a computer. Most of our stuff is through a computer. Okay. How easy would you say it's for your major to find a job? after you graduate. Very easy and very high demand. I have a pretty solid idea now, but we'll ask the fun question and we'll see how that goes. So if you were to describe your major as a type of candy, what brand would it be and why? Maybe maybe like um, kind of like a Sour Patch Kid, really sour at the beginning, but then it like gets sweet after. So from those, I'm gonna guess your computer science. Yeah. Okay. That was slightly easier than I expected. Yeah. Well, like, it's, I feel like it's an easier major to identify. It's not obscure. Yeah, that I'm is Jay true. Lara. I go to UCLA and I'm a freshman. What are some stereotypes about your major? Um, it's a GPA record. It's either you go into research or you go into a healthcare profession. Would you say your major is more male oriented, female oriented, or about even? Yeah, I say male, I think. Does this major require you to take more tests or write more essays or around the same? Mm, take more tests, definitely. What's your go to website to get help on homework for your major? I don't know, really. I guess Chegg, Course Hero, I guess. Fifth and final question If you were to describe your major as a type of candy, what would it be? Smarties. 
smarties. Okay. Is it just because people are smart? Mm, interpret that as you will. Alright. Go to UCLA. So, I wonder if I can get this major right on the spot. I'm gonna guess at UCLA, you're doing Phi Psi. Uh, okay. You're really close. Then you're probably doing what I'm planning to do, which is also neuroscience. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Go to the Owl Valley College up here in the Bay, and this is gonna be my second year in college. First question I have for you then, what the typical stereotype that's given to your major? Oh man, let's see, nerd? We're talking nerd, we're talking geek. I think those two specifically. Okay, so then I guess we'll go to a question that I've actually haven't asked anyone yet. If you were to go to a college party of a hundred people and you talk to everyone, how many of those people would be the same major as you? One twentieth ish? I wanna say five out of a hundred people I think would have the same same major. Typically for your major, what's an estimated amount of money that people make after they graduate? Anywhere northwards from 90000 to 110000 on average salary. Solid. Okay, fourth question. What's your go-to website to get help for homework? As far as that goes, man, I paid for Chegg. It, it was some of the best money I've ever spent. I mean, let me tell you that much. Chegg. <laughs> Damn, okay, got it. And fifth and final question. I think it's pretty unique. I'm gonna ask this to you as well. If your major was a type of candy, what brand would it be and why? Oh my gosh. I would say Jolly Rancher because it's unique. It's small, but there's so many different types of Jolly Ranchers out there. You have the hard candy, you have the small candy, you have the gummies, and all of the flavors that go along with it because it branches out, right? Because, but there's still a lot of flavors. That is what I can say. <laughs> all right. I was pretty sure to start. And now after that question, I don't know. Oh boy. This is going to be probably a harder guess than other ones. I'm going to go with my changed one, and that is, I think you're mechanical engineering. We're close. Oh, okay. We're close, like, it's computer science. Yeah, that was my main guess. I really want some Jolly Rangers now. Now that I <laughs> got to go buy me some when this whole quarantine Alright, so that wraps up this episode of Guessing Majors here at Zoom University. Honestly, I'm pretty surprised that I was able to do pretty well. I only missed a couple and I don't think I got a lot of these completely wrong. So I see this as a huge success. Once again, thank you to all my Instagram followers who was willing to go on Zoom to do this video for me. I definitely really appreciated that. And if you would like to be a part of any future videos, definitely make sure to follow my Instagram, which is jasonwu.ig right now. But who knows, that might change in the future, so the link to my Instagram will be in the description. And if you have enjoyed this video, definitely let me know in the comments down below. It certainly was a lot of fun to make as well, I would say. And definitely for this video, I was able to be a lot more socially active. But yeah, make sure to stay safe, stay home, wash your hands. I want to wish you guys all a wildtastic day, and we'll see you in another video, I guess. My hand disappeared, but yeah, peace.